Hello everyone, this is Janice with Cricketology.blogspot.com and I just wanted to show you um, a card that I'm making for Mary's challenge over at um, Cards TV. She is doing a spring challenge and so I chose this little hummingbird from uh, Give a Hoot Cartridge and I am also using the grass from the, let's see, it's called Zubaloo cartridge but I wanted to show you that I actually on my gypsy what I did with the grass was that I unlinked it right here there's a little link I unlinked it and I sized the width at 5.25 because that's how wide my mat is going to be and the height was a lot bigger than what I wanted so I adjusted it to 1.44 unlinked you have to unlink it otherwise it doesn't work okay so I just want to show you that and then also on this cartridge um, I'm kind of new to this cartridge so maybe I'm not understanding it myself but I had to cut this layer right here which is the part for the beak see this goes right here and the way I understand it it goes behind the little tulip there so that you can get the color of the beak the way you want it um, Yeah, because there's no green, so I have to cut this whole layer green. So then I need this layer so that the beak will be yellow or orange or whatever color you want it to be. But then the whole flower would be green, so I had to cut another one so that I could make this little layer here to make the flower the color that I want it to be. This is what I was talking about, about this cartridge. Um, this is the layer that you'll see that is for the little beak okay on the bird but look what happens now I have a flower that's yellow and I didn't want the flower to be yellow you do get this piece right here and that's for the little edge of the tulip so what I did was I cut that yellow piece again in another color and snipped the beak part off so that I could lay it over okay and then what I'm gonna do because there is a little eye that was cut from this I would have used a peachy face but I didn't think ahead and I don't want to cut it again so I'm going to put black stickles under here so that when I put that layer on top it will show through like a black eye I could also use um, you know, like a little piece of black paper. That would work too. But I wanted it to have a sparkly eye. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. I shouldn't have put any glue near here. And then that's just going to go right there. And if you can see that... See that? So I got some of that white glue coming through, but that'll dry clear. So I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to leave it alone and let it dry. I used my quick dry. Okay, so I've got my little bird together. And I wanted one more little detail. Just wanted a little something for that seam. So I'm going to use Glossy Accents um, for adhesive because it's super sticky. And I have this really thin grain ribbon. I think I got it for a dollar at... Michael's I think I'm not sure I've had it in my stash and I'm just gonna put a bead of glue right here not too much this stuff is really um, strong and you don't need a lot and then I'm just going to put the grow green ribbon right there I just love ribbon so I gotta make sure to include it whenever I can I almost want to put a bow <laughs> on the flower, and I might do that. Okay, and so I'm just going to let that dry. I made a little tiny bow with that ribbon, and um, yesterday I took my tacket over and over, and this sheet that my dimensionals is on, and I made all these little dots 
Okay, and I let them dry overnight, and so these are going to be glue dots. They are glue dots, and we'll see how they work. I'm just testing this out. So I'm going to use a tiny one. I made them in different sizes so that I could try this out and see if it really holds up. And I'm just going to adhere it here. Okay, and we'll just see how well that holds up. Okay, and I found this at Michael's. Okay, so I'm going to um, go ahead and add some Distress Ink, the crushed olive, to my embossing here. And we're going to just... All right, and then we're going to add my Perfect Pearls Mist, the Perfect Pearl color. And you have to swish it around. I had learned from using my Tattered Angels that it's good to swirl it because shaking it too much adds too many bubbles and then you get these splatters. So I don't know if it's the same with this product, but. And I just love the way that this Perfect Pearls looks. And I'm going to heat it. Okay, so we're going to add our images. And I used my Fun Foam adhesives for the first layer, which is going to be the little bird and then for the grass I used um, a thicker dimensional which is from Thermoweb and so it's going to be like a, a little bit higher than this layer but I need to figure out kind of where I I want this one to be <clears throat> okay I think I want it about right there and centered and I this wasn't dry, I messed it up a little bit, but that's okay. Alrighty, my little bow seems to be staying put. And then here's my little grass. And I kind of wanted this, bird, this flower to look like it was growing out. And I don't know, let's see. I should have done it like this, and I'll pull these up. This paper from my mind's eye is really sturdy, so it should be okay. All right, that's better, much better. And then my sentiment is going to go right here on this little piece that I got from Georgian Basic Shapes. I totally had to customize it. Um, I measured my sentiment, which comes from Go Green by Pink by Design. And this is perfect to go with a give a hoot cartridge. And it says flying by to say hi. And so what I did was I measured my sentiment and then on my gypsy made sure my piece was wide enough and that's not a good stamp right there. It's, let's do this again. I try not to rock it. There, much better. All right. And then that's going to be right there. And so there it is, everybody. I hope you like my card. And um, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for the next one. Bye.